Here are the facts surrounding Paul Mixler. He's a 72-year-old biological man. For the most of his life, he has been married, has two children. He has lived the life of a biological man. He is attracted to women. He was married to a woman 30, 40 years. He sits on the school board of an elementary school in Buckeye, Arizona called Liberty Elementary. This man is claiming to be a woman. It's a bad picture. Hold on. There we go. This man tells the little children at the school that he is a woman. He wears clothing, he wears lipstick, and he uses the same restroom, the same restroom as your little girls. He also uses the women's locker room at East Board of Fitness in Goodyear, Arizona. He has been spotted yesterday in the women's locker room in East Board of Fitness in Goodyear, Arizona. He went on local television claiming victimhood because people like myself, parents who have the right to speak up against their elected officials, are harassing and bullying him. Paul Bixler cannot be voted off the school board. He must either willingly step down or be recalled. The recall is being started. Please email Paul Bixler. His email is in the description. Let him know kindly that he stepped down from the school board willingly and cease and desist from using women's facilities or charges will be filed with the Buckeye Police Department. All right, guys. So we got to talk about a very, very, very fascinating and interesting story that is going viral involving Paul Bitzler, a transgender school board member for the Liberty Elementary School District in Arizona and Miss Lindsey Graham. And no, I'm not talking about the um, the suspect GOP senator <laughs> from South Carolina. No, not that Lindsey Graham. I'm talking about the Patriot Barbie, okay? Um, as she uh, posted a video on Instagram of her exposing this transgender school board member using the women's restroom in the gym, okay? At the gym, okay? At her local gym. Uh, this person walked into the women's uh, restroom. She claims that, you know, she was undressed and that he saw her undressed and she had a big problem with it. And she called the police. I am at the gym in Arizona. He was undressing in the locker room. Top off, bra off. And Paul Bixler was in the women's locker room. And he looked at me and he looked at my breasts. And I have called the police. Until so recently, he's used the men's locker room. So he agrees himself that he's a man. I have told the police that I was in the locker room. A man was in there. I was getting undressed. He looked at me. He is a man in the women's locker room. And the response is that this is a touchy, sensitive issue in society. Yep, there he goes, women's locker room. There's the man going in the women's locker room. Hope there's no one undressing in there. Exactly. Hope there's no naked women in there. Since there's a man in the, why isn't anyone warning the women? Just so everyone knows he's not being arrested. We are at a point where we're catering to society instead of facts. This is alarming. Women's rights are being violated. And I'm not gonna put up with it. Why do you use the men's restroom sometimes and the women's restroom sometimes? Please stay away from please. He asked politely, like I said. He will suffer no consequences for this. Now, this is not the first time that these two have interacted. Uh, as Lindsay, Miss Lindsay Graham here, uh, she actually is the same woman that dressed up like a cat <laughs> to protest wokeness at the school board and to make a point uh about how you know if you can just identify as whatever you want why can't she identify as a cat she was actually really protesting this specific school board member hello my name is lindsey graham and i am a cat meow meow i'm not a woman dressed as a cat i am a cat by show of hands i'm curious uh how many of you believe and confess that i'm a cat great i am by show of hands i'm curious how many of you believe that your child or a child from this school would believe that I'm actually a cat. No one. You are right. Why? Because you are not stupid, and these children are not stupid. Truth prevails over imagination. Reality exists. Discernment is innate and something we are biologically wired to have. 
One look at me, and you know this to be true, I am a woman posing as a cat. You may also think correctly that if I truly believe I'm a cat, I have a mental disorder. If I suffer from a mental disorder, and if I am unable to discern reality, am I safe to be around children? Would you put me in charge of making critical decisions about the safety and well-being of children and about the direction of their education when I cannot even discern truth from fiction? Yeah. So in response to protests from parents against this school board member, uh, <laughs> this guy, uh, Paul, went on the record uh, with the news to say that he's been threatened and harassed because of all the backlash that he has gotten. Take a look. Story: A school board member in the Valley is now the subject of bullying, harassment, and threats, all because she is transgender. Her gender identity has become a talking point and a target at recent school board meetings. Team 12's Bianca Bono attended the Liberty School Board meeting this week and sat down with the member who hopes the new year will bring an end to all the hate. We saw multiple grade levels. There are a few more passionate about education. First grade picks up the text. Then Paul Bixler. My professional career has been in public education. She started as a teacher in Phoenix in 1976, working her way up to administrator and principal. Paul now sits on the board for the Liberty Elementary School District in the West Valley. I wanted to, to add some stability to the board. Paul was motivated to come out of retirement and run for the school board seat in 2020 after watching the board face turnover and tough comments during COVID. I figured with the expertise I was bringing in, it would be good stability. At the end of 2022, she never could have predicted the comments would next target her. Grooming and the trans ideology. Trans grooming in our children's schools. It is not the place to celebrate a grown man with a mental illness dressing as a woman. Painful personal attacks. I could not believe what they were saying. All because she is a transgender woman. I do not choose to be transgender. From the time Paul was a child, she knew she was different. By about 11 or 12, I was pretty sure I knew what was going on. That was in 1961. There was too much risk Paul eventually married her wife, Candace, had two children and a long, loving marriage. My wife was aware of it, but it was absolutely clear that it was uncomfortable for her. In 2017, Paul's wife died of cancer. I decided at that point that if I was ever going to explore what my real feelings were, this would be the time. At first, the support was overwhelming. But things changed at a November board meeting when public comment turned into this. Until Paul Bixler resigns, I will continue to vote no. Resign. One of the speakers then escalating her comments on Fox News. He grew his hair out a little bit and he wears his deceased wife's clothing to school. Targeting not only Paul, but her late wife. My wife was the gentlest, bravest, most uh, uh grace-filled person I ever met. She incredible human being. And they attacked her. From there, hateful emails and letters like this one. Have you been afraid for your safety? There were a couple of emails that got my attention. But still, Paul continues to do her job. We have to go back to Mr. Bixler. At Monday night school board meeting, more comments. Because he's still here. But also words of support. Please show some human decency. Not sure we've had a board member who is as knowledgeable as Miss Bixler. Paul holding on to that positivity, refusing to resign, hoping speaking out at the start of a new year puts an end to the attacks. This sideshow that they're trying to promote is taken away from the real business we ought to be doing. So I'd like to get back to the real job of a school. Board. Yeah, so here's what I think, okay? I, I think that what is going on here is that you do have a little bit of this that I think is being done for show, right, for social media. Um, I think when it comes to the gym situation and that woman, Patriot Barbie, being there and recording him, I, I do low-key kind of feel like that's a little bit of, you know, hey, I'm trying to, you know, put this on social media or whatever. Uh, but if this transgender person is actually using the women's restroom in the gym, and especially in the elementary school, that's a problem. That's a huge problem. And you can't blame protesting parents who are backlashing against that. You can't blame that on transphobia and you can't play victim. Because that is something that I think is reasonable for parents to protest against and the backlash against. I don't think 
many parents will feel comfortable with their daughters being in the restroom with a biological man, especially a biological man who claims that all of a sudden after his wife died that now he's transgender, but he knew that he was trans basically since he was a, a child, right? That, that's basically what he said. And I, I just don't believe that you don't get married, have kids, uh, and you do that for what, 40, 50 years straight, uh, and be like, well, I was trans the whole time. I, I'm just saying, I don't think that's how it works. Okay. You might like cross dressing, but I don't think that you're an actual woman, not to the point where you're like, oh, I need to go use the women's bathroom. Again, that to me is, is far fetched, right? That's far fetched. I'm not buying into that. Okay. Um, now I'm not going as far as to make any accusations against the guy, but at the end of the day, um, using the women's restroom as a biological male is where you cross the line. And that, in my opinion, is something that is worth protesting against. Now, of course, police aren't going to do anything about it. The gym is not going to do anything about it because, you know, apparently the woke revolutionaries and their feelings matter more than anybody else in society. But again, you can't complain about parents protesting against you when you're literally using the bathroom with their little girls, right? Obviously, that is going to make people uncomfortable. Uh, if you want to make your job easy, right, or easier, uh, maybe you should stop using a restroom uh, that does not match your biology. How about that, <laughs> right? Because, I mean, this person does still look like an old man. Um, and they, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they got the snip snip. Who knows? But regardless, um, you know, I, I think that they should stick to using gender neutral restrooms or uh, just use the men's restroom and. Uh, and then that way, I don't think you're going to have as many problems. I think a lot of the backlash is coming from the fact that this person is using a restroom that does not match his biology. And he's making people uncomfortable. So regardless of whether or not the Patriot Barbie here is, um, you know, kind of playing this up, okay, for whatever reason, uh, in principle, she's correct, right, in regards to her complaints, because this person is using a women's restroom as a, a male. It's just a shame that corporate America... These gyms, these businesses refuse to do anything about it because they don't want to hurt a certain crowd's feelings. And that's what really bothers me the most about this is that it seems like everything that the woke revolutionaries want, they get because their feelings and hurting their feelings seems to be the worst thing in the world, right? And like, There's nothing worse than hurting the feelings of a woke revolutionary. And that's why so many of these businesses uh, in the government and corporate America, they're capitulating to this stuff because they want to hurt they don't want to hurt their feelings and i don't know why they have no problems hurting the feelings of conservatives right or people on the right they'll hurt your feelings all day but when it comes to these woke revolutionaries these people that claim to be victims that claim to be minorities you know they don't want to hurt their feelings it's kind of crazy how that works so again i, I think this person could solve a lot of their problems if they simply use the bathroom that is you know for their biological sex but let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace